why this play right now? Why are we doing it? Why are we doing it? Nora's an interesting character for me, and it's very timely, because I look at A Doll's House, and it's a classic, but when I read it, it feels so present and so modern and so now, and it makes me feel quite shameful that it's still so relevant in 2023. And then we had the idea of going to the amazing Amy Herzog <laughs> and asking her to write the version. What were your thoughts when I first got in touch with you to ask whether you might be interested in doing this play? I pretty much had my heart on my sleeve when we talked that I immediately wanted to do it. And the more time I spend with it, the more it it troubles me, like um, in the sense of water being troubled, like stirred up. Like it's, uh, it's very complicated and Nora, um, who I think is commonly understood as a kind of noble victim um, is a lot more complicated than that. She really participates in, in her own, um, in sort of like building the world that traps her. And I think that for me is a very current um, feminist message to think about the ways women also kind of corroborate and participate in things that don't benefit us. I'm just gonna say that in Iran right now, there's a revolution that's led by women and the power of women in Iranian culture has been subdued for 44 years, if not thousands of years. And it's, it's a moment in time where I think that a play and a piece of art like this can respond to that. I'm hoping that in some way it like holds up a mirror. So those that are watching or in it or experiencing it in some way are now questioning how they function in the world. Mm. And that to me makes it a really exciting thing. It doesn't feel like a classic anymore.